Hello, this is Mad Dog Gaming here with you again today, bringing you episode 19 of my Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Road to Master Proceed series. And yes, we are playing free for all once again. I'm going to be using the Sniper, the Locust. And yeah, the story I'm going to be telling you about today is yo yoing. How I got into it, what yo yo is it started with, to now. And yeah, I believe it all started around like grade five or so I got like a blue yo-yo or so from Toys R Us I forget what it's called I went from that to a black maverick because I lost the bearing in my blue one I used my maverick for a while until I lost the bearing out of that one as well so one of my friends was playing with it and lost it in the snow so then I moved on to two just cheap ones from Toys R Us they were glow in the dark yo-yos and then after the glow in the dark yo-yos I moved to my one now that I got from eBay like one two years ago a whip and yeah those are pretty much the yo-yos I went through from there I just learned some tricks you know you rock the baby and brain twister so I knew how to do those I never learned a hell of a lot of advanced moves because I couldn't do them a lot and I just didn't do yo-yoing constantly, it was just a side hobby or whatever that I like to do once in a while. And yeah, those are pretty much my yo-yos. And then how I got started was in grade 5 when I see my friends, they were yo-yoing and I got interested in it. And then it just pursued on from there. And then from there in grade 5 and learned some tricks and that. And then from grade 5 to on to grade six all of us there was a bunch of us like yo-yo like to yo-yo so we figured hey why not make a yo-yo club so we made a yo-yo club up and we had it in the gym about once a week i think it was, i can't remember what day it was during the week but yeah we all came together showed our tricks gave ourselves some tips each other tips on what to do what we should do and yeah and what we really wanted to do as tricks for yo-yoing and then while we were in yo-yo club we decided hey why don't we be in the talent show because there's a talent show coming up so we got ready for the talent show learned our tricks figured okay we're each gonna do one trick when we go up there and that's what I did I did my I did the brain twister unfortunately near the end the string caught up so I had to just get out quick because we we're only allowed to do one trick because other people had to go with their trick and it was only like an hour talent show or whatever so I can't remember I think it was one one hour or two hours anyways there was like 15 of us so you imagine one trick 15 people so that's 15 tricks right off the bat right there so that's why we could only do one trick and yeah we uh, played in the talent show it was pretty fun doing some yo-yo tricks in the talent show needless to say and yeah, that was another thing I did with yo-yoing. And that's pretty much how yo-yoing excelled for me. I mean, I don't do it as much now. Just as a side thing, if I'm bored, or I'm tired of playing video games, or can't do anything outside, or I don't have any hockey cards to put in a hockey book, which I also like to collect hockey cards, which I also told you guys. Another death there. Jesus, I only got two kills. But yeah, that's pretty much my uh, yo-yoing story for today. And how I got started how it is now to use my whip whenever I want or my go back to my glow in the dark yo-yos which I don't really do as much or with my whip I usually just do it whenever I'm really really bored and I did make one YouTube yo-yoing video but that's about it but yeah that's pretty much my yo-yoing story for today and my story for today so I hope you guys enjoyed that story and I mean there's a lot of other people that do professional yo-yoing they go in tournaments and stuff like that I don't think any of my friends did as far as I know none of my friends went out and went into competitions or shit like I know a couple of my friends were pretty good at yo-yoing but then they got tired of it and, then and yeah but anyways, that's my yo-yoing story for today. And all about yo-yoing. Yo-yoing is one of the great hobbies you can get into if you like to do some tricks and stuff. And if you're hands-on with stuff, then it might be for you. You never know. Jesus, I've got to get more kills here. I only have like four kills. Somebody's already at 29. 
Oh, five. I'm using the ICR one. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, please remember to like my videos down below, comment down below, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mad Dog Gaming. As well, in the description box below will be my Twitch stream channel, which is Mad underscore Dog underscore Gaming 31. I hope you have a very good day.